Rob, football could be a cruel game sometimes, but uh, how did you assess it out there? Yeah, Look, um, we all want to get points in this league and tonight was an opportunity to do that. I'm not sure outside how much everyone believed that we could do that, but, but we do and you know, we came so close tonight. Um, look, our overriding feeling is really a sense of pride again. Um, the players delivered an unbelievable unbelievable performance. Um, they gave everything, they left it all out there. Uh, we came up short just to a team that's fighting on all fronts that could win big, big trophies this year. So we've got to take a lot of heart from that. Um, we feel flat now because we were so, so close. But um, yeah, overall, and in the cold light of day, when we look back at it, we'll, we'll take a lot of pride from it. We'll start from the first half. How happy were you with our reaction to going behind? Yeah, really pleased. You know, the, the, all the goals that we conceded were, were disappointing. They always are, and there's, there's areas that we can be better in, I know, but uh, they capitalise on a, a bit of a mistake, a quick throw in, they're so bright, and then 1 0 down. But a brilliant reaction from us to keep the foot down on, 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 you know, and keep aggressive and not allow them to build any momentum in the game. Fantastic equaliser from a set piece from Gabe. Um, and then to go into the break 2 1 down was frustrating. Um, you know, we, we talked a lot about the, the crosses and how many numbers they arrived with at the back post, and they just, you know, Jesus ghosts in and uh, does what he does best, I suppose. But again, the reaction from the players at half time was brilliant. You know, for us to. Um, for us to get the next couple of goals and get into the lead shows a lot of character and a lot of quality as well. You know, uh, brilliant delivery from Alfie. Desire and um, quality again from Eli, and then the, you know from a, from a set piece point of view, and then the third goal was a a really well worked goal that probably showed a little bit of a different side to Luton as well to a lot of people what they think we have. Um, so yeah, the goals were, were great, and just as I was talking to our three subs when we were bringing them on, they got the third. I haven't even seen it back yet. I haven't had time, you know, with all the press that I've been doing as well since after the game. So. I'll have, to, I'll have to look back at that one. That, that one was probably a little bit of a wounder because the longer we could stay in front, clearly, then the better chance we've got of getting something from the game. Well, Sparkly, obviously having what some people are saying, one of the best Luton Town performances I've ever seen here. How happy have you been with him since uh, he's come back in the squad? Yeah, so happy. I mean, that goes, I will say it, it goes without saying, but he's been brilliant. You know, he's been really humble, really hard working, really professional, and um, the lads love him. I think he's really enjoying his football. I think that's showing out there. Um, we want him to. We, we we talked to about this when we, you know, wanted him to come to us. We could um, we could help each other, and uh, you know he's showing that at the moment. He's he's helping us, and hopefully we're giving that platform again to prim play Premier League football. And he's 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 repaying it with with brilliant performances. I don't think it was just Ross though either tonight. And, you know he was excellent. He was, but but some of the performances, particularly the lads at the back, I thought so brave. You know. They've got, Ted and again, I thought was great. Gabe, Mari, Issa, Alfie. Uh, you know, uh, we did allow Thomas to have it, even though we conceded four goals. It sounds mad. Thomas had a little, a little bit more of a quieter day, night. Uh, and then the the work rate of, of all the forwards, the six of them, you know, um, was 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 brilliant. And you know, that's a good. Um, that was good tonight because that was the plan, and, and they went and delivered it. So many positives tonight. How do we take those in Sunday? Well, yeah, yeah. I think fairly easily. You know, we'll be we'll be disappointed right now. But I know these this group they'll come bouncing in tomorrow. Um, we can't be too down about it. We lost the game of football, but if we're going to lose, there's ways to lose. And um, we know we dipped a little bit on Saturday, but that's done. We learnt from it. Players responded so well. We've gone and delivered that. Um, and if we're going to lose, that's why all the supporters are on their feet and clapping again at the end. They can see the effort the players have put in. They've seen an, an amazing game of football that, that I think will probably live long in the memory. Um, let's go and try and deliver another one on Sunday, but try and be on the right end of the result.